En el 2014, por primera vez, la electromovilidad se popularizaba a través de la Fórmula E, un evento deportivo cuyo objetivo era mostrar, a través de la pasión por las carreras, las tecnologías de movilidad eléctricas más avanzadas, mostrando así al mundo que una forma de transportarse sostenible era posible. Dentro del campus de la Universidad Tecnológica de Delft se encuentra el nuevo centro global de I +D, de ABB. Allí nos recibe Bin Elshout. Bin creció en la industria del petróleo y el gas, donde pasó 20 años de su carrera con varios puestos de servicio y desarrollo comercial, pero decidió hacer un cambio para contribuir con la transición energética y el cambio en la movilidad global. How is the ABB vision of the electromobility on the nearest future? We have to take into account that our road transport contributes to uh, more than 25, almost 29% of all the greenhouse uh, gas emissions globally. So if we can reduce those emissions by turning the traditional vehicles into electric vehicles and to charge them, I think we make a, a huge contribution to a sustainable environment today already, but also for the future. And we do that with our products and we do that together with our customers to make it possible for them to contribute to a more sustainable environment. If we then specifically look at the world of e-mobility, that is where we provide a complete portfolio of chargers to help everybody with the demand that they have for charging their vehicles. How the ABB motivation start? ABB in general wants to support with electrifying the world and to contribute to oh. safe and smart and sustainable uh, technology. If we then look at our chargers uh, that we started to build at the beginning of the industry, so we were right there from the beginning, we built the first electric vehicle chargers uh, when there was no standards, but there were car manufacturers who wanted to bring electric vehicles to the market. Yes. We worked together with them on, uh, on developing the first chargers, and over the last 10 years, 12 years, We've developed this into a, um, I think, a global technical leading portfolio uh, that we have. If we look at the, the products that we have, they can support all the use cases that exist. So we can charge at households, we can charge along highways, and we can charge bus fleets or uh, delivery fleets uh, to charge the electric vehicles that are being used there. And what do you think about storage, that energy, maybe? Because now you are giving back to, I don't know, to, to be useful. But if you storage that energy, for example, your home, can you do that? Yeah, absolutely. So, so we can support that. Later on, I will show you a charger that can support vehicle to grid and vehicle to house. And that is where you can charge your vehicle um, with solar, for example, when the sun is shining. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you use your vehicle uh, during nighttime uh, as a battery pack for your household. So you, you charge back the energy that's contained in a battery in your vehicle to the charger, back into your household. So that means the car can help to uh, have some energy in your house to spend at night, for example? It is like a battery pack for your telephone. Really? Exactly, oh, like that. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So it's going to be faster in the future? What do you think? So one thing is for sure, it will be bigger and faster. So what do you have developed for the battery or the charger? We are now with our 360 kilowatt charger. We are ahead of the car market. So we are waiting for the first vehicle that can really consume the full 360 kilowatts from the charger. There's already trucks who can do that, but we're waiting for the first passenger cars uh, to be able to consume that and let them push us in further developing and, and further uh, setting the standards for fast charging. Allow me to uh, show you our complete portfolio uh, that is being tested here in this prototype environment. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, that's an AC charger that you install at your house and that charges a car in seven to 12 That hours. small one. That small one over there. Then um, if you go to more advanced uh, home installations, you're going to look at vehicle to grid and vehicle to household chargers. Ah, this is the, that's what, that's the what we have, machine. That's what we have here. So this charger you can install uh, at your house, connect it to your vehicle, and it will charge your vehicle when there's a charge needed. But it can also discharge your vehicle when you want to use the energy that's contained in your vehicle. How much electricity can I have from Well, in, in average, you can say that a car that is fully charged, it depends, of course, on how you use your electricity in your house. Yes. <laughs> but it, can, it, it could, for a normal household, a week. It can contain... Oh, a, really? Yeah. But that's, yeah. that's a yeah. lot. No. Yeah, that's quite it's a lot. It's a lot of energy. Yeah. But the nice thing is, actually, that you can charge your vehicle when the sun is shining with yeah. solar energy, and when it gets dark, 
you discharge your vehicle and you use it in your, in you your, place. It in your house. Then we have a mobile charger over there, which we is a charger that we uh, developed uh, to, especially to be used in workshop environments when you, where you want to, where you do not want to install fixed infrastructure, yes. but where you want to be flexible in moving this around. So workshops for buses, for example, or for car races. Now, if we then move to, uh, to the existing products that we, uh, uh, that we have, we, we look at the um, charge point over there with the green lights. Oh, nice. This is um, kind yep. of fancy charge. It is, <laughs> it is. And inside the charger, so this is what we call a dispenser. Okay. And the dispenser is connected to a power cabinet. Okay. Yeah? The power cabinet is what you see on the other side of the window over there. And this is then a dispenser that you can install uh, at your energy station. Now, if we look over here, here is what we've recently launched as the world's fastest charger. Oh. Yeah? So this charger can charge a vehicle at 360 kilowatts. So this is really a state of the art that we are currently uh, introducing to the market. Bin, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> now I'm going to touch everything. Okay. <laughs>